Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to tell you about the best cell phones of February, 2020. We've been in a bit of a lull with new cell phones. Nothing major has happened recently, but some breaking news over the past few days is that there may be a new iPhone coming in March. The iPhone 9, the iPhone SE 2. Yeah. I personally don't think it's going to be called the iPhone 9. I think that is not gonna happen. Yeah, it's being marketed as like a super budget iPhone. Production is ramping up, according to Bloomberg, so that's why they think it's gonna be a March release. Yeah. Uh, Touch ID home button, it'll be interesting to see yeah. if that comes out in March. Some people are saying that might come out in June. We don't know. Yeah, I would bet March. Yeah, so keep your eyes peeled for that phone. That might make our list next month. But for this month, coming in at number five is the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. It's a great phone. It's the big brother of, or sister, of the Samsung Galaxy S10, which is also a great phone, but it's the most expensive Samsung Galaxy you can buy. Yep. And it's also the most powerful Samsung yeah, it's, Galaxy. It's the top of the line Android phone right now. Some quick specs for you, 6.4 inch display, uh, 12 megapixel, 16 megapixel rear cameras, uh, up to 39 hour talk time battery life. That's gonna last you a while. Yeah, at least one day. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'll care about. Yep. Mm -hmm. IP68 water resistant, solid phone, great processor, Mm -hmm. Anything you need to do, this phone can do it. And more. And, and much more. <laughs> Coming in at number four is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The top of the line iPhone, yep. the Galaxy S10 Plus of iPhones, yep. the most expensive iPhone. Right. No one terabyte model. That's There is that's the S10 bummer. Plus, but yep. who needs that much storage anyway? Yeah, not me. Uh, or I. So, some quick specs about this phone comes in Four colors, gold, space gray, silver, and midnight green, 6.5 inch display. It's got that cool rear triple camera with the ultra wide lens now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, comes in 64, 256, and 512 gigabyte variants, as you said. Nobody really needs one terabyte. Nobody. Nobody. Up to 30 hour battery talk time, a little bit lower than the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. I know, but you gotta plug it in anyway. Yeah. Until we get, you know, nah. Ugh, what's yeah. next? Next is the iPhone XR. This is the budget iPhone. We just kind of mentioned the iPhone SE2. So you might want to hold, if you're thinking about getting a XR, wait a month and then see what the SE2 looks like, how much it costs. Yeah, I think that this, the, you know, it's sort of supposed to be the budget iPhone, but it's not the cheapest phone in the world. Right now it's $599, okay. which is kind of expensive still. Let's be realistic. Yep. $599 10 years ago for a cell phone was a lot of money. Yes. Now it's fifteen hundred. We think that five ninety nine is cheap, so it's a great phone though. Yeah, great phone, great budget phone. Yeah. Quick specs for you: six point one inch display, 12, 12 megapixel rear camera. Doesn't have that ultra wide lens that we both love. One lens only has one lens. I don't really love. It. Highest storage variant is two fifty six. Uh, if you're looking for more than that, you're not going to get it here. But as we've been saying too many times in this video, sixty four is enough for a regular person. Battery talk time up to twenty five hours. So. Right. At least a full day. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be fine. 25 hours. You got to plug it in at night, like every single cell phone. Yep. Coming in at number two, our favorite uh, Android phone. Exactly. Is the Google Pixel 3a XL. Right. And the Google Pixel 4, which is the newer model, is not on the list because of the price gap between the 3a yeah. XL and the Google Pixel 4. Yeah. The specs are pretty similar if you compare them head to head. And we just think the savings you get with the 3a XL is worth more than what you than get. Than the 200 other. bucks or 220 more, whatever it is. Yeah for the Google Pixel 4. Yep. Sorry to interrupt you. No, you're fine. All right. Pixel 3a XL only has a 64 gigabyte variant, whereas the 4 has the 128. So if 64 is a little bit too low for you, maybe get the 4. We don't think it's necessary. No. Nope. Some specs on the 3a XL, six inch display, 12.2 megapixel camera, and up to 39 hours battery talk time. Pretty yep. good. That's almost a full day. Pretty solid, almost. Yeah, almost. Oh, how about that? <laughs> Uh, and number one, our top phone is the iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 made the list, unlike the, the Google Pixel 4. Mm -hmm. The iPhone 11 is this year's model of the iPhone 10R, which doesn't make a ton of sense, but uh, it does have that ultra wide camera. It has a regular camera. It does not have the two times zoom telescope, telescopic mm -hmm. sounds, lens camera. So if you are a camera person or you like to take photos, as a normal person would say, yep. 
then check out this phone because it has a much better camera than the 10R. It's worth the extra hundred dollars. Yeah, it also has that portrait mode. I don't know if the 10R has portrait mode. It does, but it's kind of a fake portrait mode. Okay. Yep. Better, better camera oh, feature. Oh, yeah, portrait mode. Uh, so some specs about this phone: 6.1 inch display, as you said, dual rear 12 megapixel cameras, uh, up to 26 hour battery talk time, and the largest storage variant here is 256 gigabytes. Right, which is more than enough for most people or normal people, yes. as David would say. Sorry if we've. Yeah. We offended you. Yeah. You're not normal. Yeah. So as we said, keep an eye out for that new iPhone SE2. No guarantees that it actually comes out next month. So I guess we'll have to wait and SE. SE2. Yeah. SE2. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Leave us a comment down below with any other questions. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones.